Hello, hello, hello again. I am Janara and we do it with another video. Guys, today we are going to talk about the motivation. This video will be all about motivation for those who are trying to be a pilot or for those who are thinking of being a pilot. All right, guys, I will reflect from my perspective how is it going to be like being a pilot? Should you be a pilot? Absolutely, yes. You need to be a pilot. That's why in this video, I'll give my reasoning why you should be a pilot. Are you ready? Let's continue. Before start, I would like to introduce myself. Very brief one. I'm in this business almost 10 years and I am flying in one of the best airlines in the United States. And also previously, I was flying 777 in Emirates and prior that I was flying 737 in Turkish Airlines and I was cadet for them. So I took my flight training in Germany in 2014. And now it's 2020, almost four. When I look back 10 years and I check my you know, life for the last 10 years, I'm super happy that I chose to be a pilot. That's a great job. I would like to explain why. Are you ready? All right. First thing first, you will never feel that you are at work. I understand some people complain about the companies. Some people are complaining about flying a night, flying long, flying many legs per day. But most of them, they're complaining about the companies. They all love flying. That's the most important thing. I never said one day in my life that I don't want to fly. When you come to this airplane, when you go inside the cockpit, you feel it. Wow, that's amazing. That's a great thing. And imagine you are flying in an environment that your office view changes constantly each time, each day, each minute. Now I cannot imagine myself sitting in one office for 20 years, seeing same people, same view. It is too boring for me. One day now I'm flying over North Pole. Next day I'm flying over China. You can see the Great Wall. Or one day you can fly over the ocean. You can see Maldives. It's limitless. Your office view is changing all the time. That's the beauty of this job. For instance, recently I flew over Grand Canyon and people were paying getting helicopter tours and they were spending thousands of dollars to see the same view that I have. The next thing I would like to talk about the days off. Yeah, guys, imagine you are an engineer. Imagine that you work for a corporate job. Most of the time you're working five days in a week and you have weekends off, right? So in general, you have eight days off in a month. But if you're a pilot, this is totally different story. Yeah, I'll give my statistics. Before this video, I just check my days off in each airline until now. I must say that in I was in Turkish Airlines, I had averaged nine days off in a month. When I was in Emirates, I averaged between 11 to 12 days off in a month. Here, I'm only here for five months, but I'm averaging around 15 days off in a month. Isn't it amazing? 15 days off you get paid amazing salary at the same time you have half of the month is off because in our job all it matters is flying hours and your duty time you can excuse your duty time so that you can easily have 20 days off depending on seniority or if you're flying wide body or if you're flying narrow body you can have 20 days off i'm not kidding that's the question I'm getting. How about the family time? If I become a pilot, can I see them quite often? And I was like, if you can't minute by minute as a pilot, you will see them more because you go, everyone goes work, right? And then you can see your loved ones only a couple of hours per day and at weekends. On the other hand, in our jobs, we have 15 full days. The other perk I would like to talk about, traveling around the world. I must say that this is imputed income for us. I cannot imagine how much I saved from tickets for the last 10 years. I traveled all around the world. I've been to six continents. Only Antarctica is missing, but I'm planning to tick this box soon. And I'm only 34 years old. Can you believe it? And I maybe spend 5% 
of what normal people would spend. And in the US right now, I can travel for free, absolutely free. And if I want to travel abroad with my company, I can either pay low tax or I can make absolutely free, depending on the, you know, uh, seniority and how full the airplane is, I can switch between tickets. Also, I would like to talk about, you can get these tickets for your friends, loved ones, close family, extended family. You can get these opportunities, get these tickets for them too. Of course, it's a standby ticket, so which means that you can only travel if there's a seat available. But don't forget, you can travel in cabin jump seat and you can travel in cockpit jump seat. So it's extremely rare as a pilot if you travel alone from point A to point B. If you have family, then it's a different story. But what I'm trying to say, you can explore the world almost for free if you become a pilot. Why not, huh? You have this opportunity, use it. Apart from your own company, for instance, I can travel in Star Alliance, let's say from Houston to Istanbul in business class, only I, can, I pay $300. Maybe like 10 times cheaper than the original price. It's really, really great when it comes to traveling. As a pilot, that's a great perk. All right, guys, now I would like to talk about the flexibility. Uh, this is only valid for some certain airlines, but at the end of the day, it's your career. You have a right to choose where you would like to end up. Where would you like to work? Choose an airline so you can plan your future. It's a great thing to have flexibility in your life. With my job, I have full flexibility. It's my choice. I can choose an airplane that I can be a senior, I can enjoy my quality of life, or I can go white body flag, I will be a junior, but I travel around the world. So, there's a tons of different things, different strokes for different folks. So, I choose not to fly at night, I choose not to fly three or four legs per day, I choose more long flights to maximize my daily flying so that I can have maximum days off. I'm averaging right now 15 days off. If I stay as a first officer, I can get up to 20 days off after two years, or I can upgrade myself, I become a captain, and in that case, you will have less day off, but you will get paid more. You know, all kind of flexibilities. You choose whatever suits you well, because everyone's situation is different. And this is the beauty of our job. If you become a lawyer, if you become an engineer, you are limited by options. You, everyone follow the same path, what company suggests them. But here, just company says us, those are the flights, just fly it. And based on your seniority, you can grab any of those. That's what I'm trying to say. This is a really, really, really great job, guys. Don't ever hesitate to become a pilot. That's a great job. That's a great profession. Just follow your dreams and follow your desires. Don't ever think that, am I gonna get paid well? Am I gonna get a great job in the future? What am I gonna do? If, you know, I'm gonna spend $100,000, then what if, if I cannot find a job? Don't narrow yourself with a tight comfort zone. As a pilot, expand it and enjoy your life. All right, now I would like to talk about the salaries. This job is great when it comes to salaries. You will get paid top notch. I don't lie to you guys. Give, I'll give you an example. In my company, we are 16,000 pilots. Let's say half of them are captains and 8,000 captains we are talking about, right? 8,000 captains. And these 8,000 guys after new contract, they're going to get paid minimum $300,000 per year. 8,000 guy I'm talking about. How many percentage of, let's say, a company like Amazon, Uber, or Shell, or you name it, how many percentage of their employees are getting paid $300,000? I must say that only high-level managers, senior-level managers will earn these salaries, and this is maybe less than 5% of the entire company's population. Whereas, in our job, you can get paid really high salary, and yet, you just fly, leave the airplane, go back to your normal life, enjoy your life. No need to prepare presentation for another 10 hours. No need to work overtime for extra eight hours after the work because you need to catch the due deadline or whatever it is. So this job is great and you get paid really great. And on top of that, 
you will have 15 days off, don't forget. Apart from salary, let's talk about the retirement. In the US, pilot can have two retirements, one from Social Security and one from 401k. The Social Security ones, I just made my calculations based on my the taxes, I can make $7,000 when I retire. Of course, this number is adjusted based on expected inflation rate until 2000, let's say 50 something. This looks like nothing in the US, but don't forget, in my country, $7,000 is a great number. So it's gonna be a great number too. And on top of that, the real retirement we are talking about 401k. And if you work right now in the US for 30 years, and if you adjust 7% growth, because this is the number for historical stock market growth right now. And each year you maximize your 401k contribution from your side and your company, you can end up having seven, eight million US dollars at the end of your career for retirement. I will just give you a simple fact. I have my paper in front of me and I can see how much do you need as of 2023 for the retirement and have a good affordable life. Number one country in the world is Luxembourg and you need to have 228.8 thousand US dollars. So let's say 130 thousand US, so US dollars. If you collect $8 million at the end of your career in your 401k, let's make a simple math. You invested with 5%, you can make it easily $400,000 per year. And if you deduct the tax from this amount, let's say 30% of it, still you are well above number one country in the retirement, Luxembourg. And in this list, I'm checking the United States is number seven and it's average around $80,000 per year. And you can make three times more, four times more than this amount when you retire. So you can travel around the world and you can do whatever you would like to have if you retire and of course, these numbers are based on you're not full loaded, you keep your job, don't forget you can make less than this or you can make significantly more than this if you are employed at the age of 23. So guys, let's summarize this, right? You have a great salary, you have days off, you have great pension plan, you have long-term disability plan, you have sick leave balance per year, I have 72 hours, and in average I fly 80 hours per month. So you can accumulate almost a month sick leave in a year. So God forbid if something happens, you cannot go work for a month, you will get paid exactly the same salary. And also, if you cannot work more than two months, your long-term disability plan kicks in. These numbers can change company to company, but I'm trying to say the general idea and they can pay you a certain amount, let's say $14,000 a month until you retire. This is a great job. There's a great protection. Union is great, job is great. So definitely you shouldn't be thinking twice if you like to be a pilot. Now. I would like to talk to parents, families, because lots of people are reaching to me. Oh, my kid wants to be a pilot. What do you think about it? I only have one house or one stuff I, that I'm investing. If I make him pilot or her pilot, then I will, I'm not gonna have anything. Do you think it's worth to try this or is this worth to take this risk? Yes. Short answer is yes. Make your kid pilot if possible all right that's that's a really great advice that i can give to you this is a really great profession and in the future you can check boeing and airbus market outlook you can check these numbers are updated each year how many new pilots will be needed in the next 20 years how many airplanes will be produced and delivered in the next 20 years and people are retiring therefore this job will be the number one job in the world for a long time when it comes to having great lifestyle, balanced lifestyle with money and workload, opportunities, traveling around the world. I cannot say more, you know, just go ahead and do this. And for those who are watching me until now, please don't hesitate to be a pilot. This is your dream job and follow your dreams, all right? All right, guys, that's it. As usual, before going, please don't forget to like my video, subscribe my channel, and hit the bell button to get the notifications. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.